Hey everyone, Brenton here, another 2014-15 season preview, and this time we're going to the Arizona Coyotes that did the Anaheim Ducks yesterday. That is in the description below if you want to go check out that video before you check out this one. We're going to go through every team, one a day for 30 days, because there's 30 teams. So the team's obviously moving to Arizona, how exciting, new owners, how exciting, they might move in a couple of years, not so exciting. But obviously we're talking about this season, so what are they going to do? The problem is, is they have an internal budget, so their own salary cap is, by what I can gather, around... 56 to 59 million right now they're on 56 million so they're not going to be a cap team which already makes them you know a non-competitive team then you look down their lineup on what they lost this year they lost for Barta, they lost Ribeiro to off ice issues who hasn't been resigned but Barta was a big one that they lost and they picked up Sam Gagne and you know uh, what BJ Crombie and Joe Fatale ex Penguin I'm a fan so that was a bit sad to go but really nothing big here you've got another year of Shane Doan who you might be on a bit of a decline we're starting to get to those years and he might want to bail out look at this goal look at that one hander you got nothing you got nothing on this Ekman Larson oh that's why I picked him second overall in the shootout son um, so Shane Doan, you don't know what he's going to want to do. He obviously wants to leave a legacy in the NHL and whether that legacy is to stay at the same franchise for, uh, for this long throughout his whole career or if he wants to try win a cup somewhere. Obviously they'll have to retain Cap to move him because he's on quite a good contract, but yeah. Mike Smith is another one. Does he end up getting traded? There's a few players that are going to get traded, but where I have this team pegged right now with their internal cap budget and their team... And the fact that they have 11 forwards signed and 8 defenders signed. So they really don't have much wiggle room. Plus uh, McMillan is uh, going to arbitration. So there's 12 forwards. Plus Max Domi might come up. And a couple of other uh, players might come up as well. Samuelson's another one that comes to mind. So they might have 13, 14 forwards to start the season. And, uh, you know, 6, 7 defenders. So the, the, their lineup's really what it is now. And that is not a playoff contender. It's a bottom dweller. It is a bottom-dwelling team, and it's going to be very interesting to see what they move at the deadline, unless they come out and shock me, but I don't even have them as a dark horse to do that. I really have them in the bottom five. They are going to struggle this year. I think they're going to be hard to verse. They're going to be a lot like Car Calgary Flames this year. They were hard to verse. They were tough. They were physical, and they showed up every game, but they just don't have the talent to get them over the line, and I really don't think they've got the offense to do anything. They've got a good defense, and they play a good defensive system, and they played well in that system, but, you know, they're going to get even less goals than they did last year. So, a lot less goal sirens, a lot less Arr! after they score. It is not going to be fun for this team. Whether they look to trade Vermette, uh, Zabrana McCulloch's another one that looks like to, that could be another train contender. Mike Smith, Shane Doon, uh, who else? Yandel, that's another one. Obviously, you want to keep their youth. Yandel, you'd get a lot back for it. Obviously, it'd have to be the right price that he comes back. You'd want to keep Bodka, and you want to keep a few of your other speedy forwards and then go for a rebuild. Hopefully get one of the top two picks, maybe Connor McDavid. That would be very interesting if he came through. I really wonder if he'd report, because, I mean, this is... How many times have you seen the stars go to, like, the real stars? Like, Connor McDavid is going to be a star. How many times have you seen them be drafted by, I don't know, this team? Oh, wouldn't it be funny? Because didn't Lindros get done by the Jets, and he said, no, nah, I'm not reporting? Wow. Happened twice. <laughs> so franchise, really. That'd be hilarious. Um, but yeah, I don't have them doing well this year. Sorry, f uh, sorry guys. I know you guys have been through so much. On will they or won't they stay? You're now going to really have to endure a bad season. I think your brand of hockey might be a little bit more exciting, as it might be a bit tougher. Last year it was absolute snooze fest because you just played this defensive system. But I think this year it's going to be a lot of pain and a lot of losses in the last you know couple of minutes. You're also in a very tough conference. In the West there. There is no getting out of that division. I'm sorry. There's no getting the wild card. In my opinion. Uh, it's not even like they're a fringe team. I really think they're going to be a bottom dweller this year. So I do apologize. That's my opinion. If you don't agree with it, comment below. Otherwise, sub for the other 30 you know, teams. Uh, 29 teams that will be putting up. And uh, make sure you give that that thumbs up like. Because everyone else tells you to do it. And I'm telling you to do it. But anyway guys, thanks, thanks for watching. Have a good day. See you and bye.